This is part of the, the challenge. It's what Amarillo hospitals have continued to express their concern about. Please don't get on a motorcycle. Don't have a trauma. Don't have a heart attack. Because we're going to be at a point where we can't manage you. Nursing shortages leaving hospitals without enough staff to man beds, which is impacting people who are waiting to be admitted to the hospital. They were on a waiting list and they were waiting to come to us. BSA's chief medical officer, Dr. Michael Lamentier, says on Wednesday they had 27 patients waiting in their ER for admission to the hospital. That is an extremely high number for us. That is not normal for BSA. And of those patients that were waiting, um, there was a portion of them obviously that were COVID patients. But it's also affecting those that are not COVID patients that need health care for other acute medical problems. The situation similar at Northwest Texas, where Chief Medical Officer Dr. Brian Wise says they had eight patients waiting in their ER. And that's the best we've been in a while. And these are eight people who are stuck in the emergency room waiting for a bed to come available because of our nursing shortage. And 34 patients at regional hospitals, some COVID positive, some not all trying to get to Amarillo for critical care. So this is part of the, the challenge is we want to help these facilities because as long as we continue to struggle with our own capacity, it really makes it very difficult for us to be able to bring these uh, patients to a higher level of care uh, in Amarillo.